Hey, 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 y'all. Good morning. This is Sonetta, your life coach. I want to say good morning to y'all. This video today is talking about telling yourself the truth. And I want, before I even get started, I want to say thank y'all for being here. Um, and for those who haven't heard about the ebook yet, the free ebook for you all, there's an ebook called Where Are You? is in the description of the video or in the link in the bio over on Instagram. And that ebook is talking about or helping you figure out where you currently are so that you fig figure out and plan to where you're going, trying to be the person that you want to become. So like I said, make sure that you go ahead and download your free ebook today. Excuse me, y'all. Um, like I said, it's free for you all. Of course, it's down in the link in the description of the video or in the link in the bio. So with that, let's get on to the topic of the morning. Today is talking about telling yourself the truth. I know a lot of times we, of course, we could tell ourselves all kinds of things. I guess I put it that way and lie to ourselves because I know I, I, I used to do that as well back in the day. And like I said, I definitely know how that feels. And I definitely know what kind of impact that can create in your life as well. I'm just going to tell you this morning, just like I said, give you some, hopefully some, some tea, some inspiration, some motivation to, of course, go on throughout your day. But at some point, if you're wanting to, of course, to create any kind of, like I said yesterday, creating any kind of level of success, those kind of things, you have to, of course, start telling yourself the truth. You cannot keep lying to yourself that you are doing way better than you are. If you're in a bad situation, you're not thriving the way that you want to, then say that to yourself. You don't have to tell nobody else. You don't have to get on social media and tell anybody else. Tell that to yourself first. Always tell it to yourself. But then, of course, like I said, start taking those steps to, of course, improve your situation. You can never start working on yourself if you're not even telling yourself the truth about where you're at. If you're in a situation where your finances are, are not where you want them to be, if you're in a situation where you know that you have this relationship but you cannot communicate well with your partner and you're constantly going, howling, yelling, cursing, that kind of thing, creating these situations where there's always an argument, or if you're one who going to a job every day that you hate, you don't like it no more, you want to do something else, but you're not being honest with yourself about where you are in life, then you're not going to be able to move ahead, y'all. I know at times we want to blame Susan, our mothers, our fathers, whoever, somebody else, the, the man, the government, whoever it is, because of our situation. At some point, we have to look at our situation and figure out how in the hell we created that. You created wherever you are today. Today is March the 1st. You created yourself up until this point today. Now, I, I will say one thing, under 18, when all, if there was any kind of abuse or anything going on like that, you may not have created that, of course. That wasn't your fault. But anything above that, as an adult, over the age of 18 and 21, you have been creating that for, since then, until today, until March 1st. At some point, you have to get real dirty and grimy with yourself to tell yourself the truth to figure out where you are in life. That's why I was telling y'all about the ebook. Like I said, make sure that you're getting the ebook. Click the link in my description of the video or in the bio of on Instagram to get that ebook. The ebook will definitely walk you through that, y'all. But like I said, at some point you have to realize this is where I actually started telling myself the truth about my situation, where I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy at all a few years ago. I mean, see, what's this? 2022, four or five years ago, I wasn't happy at all, and I had to get 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 real with myself. Of course, I, I journaled about it. I wrote about it, and like I said, I definitely had to get real with myself to figure out where I was. I didn't like where I was within the relationship that I was in. I did not like what was going on in my household. <clears throat> in my household, I did not like the finances that I had back then. I'm still not liking them now, but I'm trying to get them in order. I guess I put it that way as well. Like I said, there's a lot of things that I'm not, I'm not liking, but like I said, I know that me not liking those things are, is not going to do any better if I do not take action on those things. Yes, I'm always taking action. Of course, I'm on these videos letting y'all know I'm taking action as well. And if you want to look at my pages or other videos, just t check them out too. But like I said, definitely I'm taking action on the things that I don't like in my life and, that, and, and the things that I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of. And at some point, like I said, I had to make that, that conscious decision. All it takes is a decision and one choice to figure out what you want to do with your life and how you want to live your life. March 1st, on forward. That's all you have to do. I know, yes, it's easier said than done, of course, making the decision. But a lot of times we bring this, this, all this drama and trauma into making one decision when the decision is easy to make. If it's a relationship that you're not getting along with the person, y'all are arguing all the time, the communication isn't there, then what are you doing then? You have to be honest with yourself and that other person as well. I had to be honest with myself and the other person I was dating back years ago to let him know that I was not happy in this relationship and I could no longer go forward. It had been seven and a half years, almost eight years. I could no longer do that relationship anymore. A lot of blaming, a lot of shaming, a lot of all types of bull crap every single day, argument every single day. Where was I going in that relationship but nowhere but more arguing? 
Like I said, I had to get real with myself. And I had to help him create his own plan to exit my household. That's what I had to do. And if that's what you had to do for yourself or for the other, then you do that as well. That's up to you. I can't tell you what to do unless I'm, well, of course, I can give you some advice if I'm working with you as a coach. But like I said, it's your life that you have to live. You know what's best for you. I knew what was best for me back then with that particular relationship, but I had to make some changes. I knew what was what I wanted with my finances as well, with, with, with what I was doing as far as working or creating a business. I had to realize that I wasn't doing as much as I could in the area to create anything. Even though I had all these skills, I had the skills to, of course, bake. I know how to bake damn good. I made some red velvet cheesecake bars. I posted them on my regular page last night, and you all can check that out. And like I said, I had to. I looked at all the gifts that I had. I love to bake. I love to create stuff in the kitchen, do cooking demos, too. I love to, of course, talk and talk about the self and learn, learn, learning to love yourself, figuring out who you are. I love to talk about that. I love to, of course, to empower others and to inspire others to, of course, do the same for themselves as well. That's why I became a life coach. I want to see people in this world change. I'm a change agent. I know that. That's something that I'm good at as well, giving people another perspective at life. Like I said, there's a whole lot of things that I'm good at. Hold on, y'all got to sneeze. <sighs> y'all, these sinuses, allergies, this stuff is driving me crazy here in St. Louis. <laughs> But like I said, I had to figure out my gifts and what I was good at. I love planning and coordinating events and parties. I've always done that since I was like 20 years old. I love doing stuff like that. There's a lot of business that I have created. I did do some parties and things like that. But like I said, that's something that I definitely want to get into. Or actually fully get into. I guess I put it that way. And like I said, I had to realize what my gifts are and where I was unhappy at. And where I wanted to create those changes at. Given the gifts that I had, given the talents that I had, all those kind of things as well. And I'm telling y'all the same thing. You have to start telling yourself the truth. If you're not loving yourself the way that you should, tell your, you don't have to tell nobody. You don't have to tell Instagram. You ain't got to tell Facebook. You ain't got to tell YouTube. You just tell your damn self. If you want to tell your damn cat, your, your dog, then tell them. And your journal. Then, then, and God, then tell those, those people. I would definitely say include God in the process. But like I said, you can tell the animals in your journal as well. They ain't going to talk back to you. They make me out or bark. That's about it. But you have to start telling yourself the truth about what is going on in your life that you want to change. And while I'm talking about this, I want to make sure that y'all know, again, make sure that you all are getting that ebook in the link in my bio or in the description of the video. It's called Where Are You? And that book will help you figure out where you are right now. And I gave you some questions, to, of course, help you tell yourself the truth about where you are and to figure out where you are so that you can know and plan and strategize for where you're going to create that person that you're trying to become. We're all trying to become somebody. Even if you're trying to become a single mom, you're trying to become a you're trying to become something. Or if you're, or if you're, or if you're trying to become an at home mom, or if you're trying to become a CEO, or if you're trying to become a pet owner, whatever it is, a homeowner, you have to create the person that you're trying to become. You need to get your credit together. You need to get all these things, save some money so you can have money for the down payment, all this kind of stuff. You have to create those things in your life. How else do you think change is going to come into your life if you're just sitting there telling yourself lies all day long and replaying these stories in your head that you're the victim and nothing's ever going to change? I had, I was telling my, I actually just let y'all know, be, to, I guess to be fully transparent, I was telling myself those things yesterday. I was very upset by some news that I had gotten. And I had to realize that, of course, in the past, I used to stay upset playing victim mode for months, years, and that kind of thing. It took me, to, I, well, this, until this morning, I put it that way, well, actually, be, before I went to bed last night to get my shit together. And tell myself the truth about where I was to figure out where in the hell, I, what the hell else I need to create to get to where I'm trying to get to. I'm fed up with the shit that I'm, I, I, like, like I said, with finances and with um, the education that I didn't get and all this kind of stuff. I know that only parents can teach you what they know and that kind of thing. But like I said, I'm, I'm just fed up with the stuff. And like I said, I definitely had to make a conscious choice last night to decide what the hell was I going to do. I'll journal, about, I'll journal about it tonight and write about it tonight. But I definitely had to make that conscious choice to figure out where am I going, who am I trying to create, and what kind of life am I trying to create. I'm telling y'all the same thing. At some point, you have to get, get grimy and dirty with yourself in order to tell yourself that truth. Yes, you may cry, all those kind of things. I'm sure you will. I cried too yesterday. I'm sure you will. But if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of being fucking sick and tired, you're going to get up and do something for yourself that you need to do to, of course, stop being sick and tired of it. If you don't like where you're at, tell yourself the truth about where you're at. You ain't got to tell nobody else. Like I just said, tell yourself that. That's all you have to do is start there. 
If you want to get on video, want to write about it on Facebook, wherever you want to put it, later on, much years down the line, I guess in, in order to teach somebody else and to, of course, serve the world and help those who are stuck where you, where you were to learn and to figure out how to grow in, in those areas, then you can do that. But if not, just tell yourself the truth first. That's where everything starts at. Getting honest and getting grimy and dirty with yourself to tell yourself the truth about where you at. So you can figure out where you're trying to get to. So I'm going to get off this video. I just want to, I just want to remind y'all again that ebook is called Where Are You? It's in the link in the video on Instagram. I mean, in the um, in the bio on Instagram. And it's in the link in the video over on any other site that you're looking at this video on. But I just want to make sure that y'all are getting truthful with yourself. You can no longer keep continue to tell live in survival mode. And living in victim mode. You're older. You're over 21, 35, however, however old you are. You're able to create another life. Besides the one that you, of course, grew up in. You can start today. March 1st is a whole new month. There's no reason why you can't. Unless you don't want to. Because the story you've been telling yourself is a story that everybody else, you and everybody else around you believe. And that you want to keep telling just to keep on living that lie. I'm sure that's what it is. Because I was there as well. But like I said, at some point, if you don't like the life that you're leaving, living, you have to make a decision to, of course, change that life. So with that, again, I'm going to go ahead and get off here because I got to get to work this morning. So I want to say thank y'all. This is your coach, Tanetta. Like I said, get that ebook in the description of the video. But that link that's in there or in the um, link in the bio over on Instagram. So take care of y'all. I hope y'all heard me this morning. Like I said, we got to start telling ourselves the truth, y'all. If you're not telling yourself the truth, then what the hell are you telling yourself? So with that, take, take care of y'all. Have a great day.